Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle like a diamond. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle on the island and my army jacket. Guys, today I want to talk about how you can inadvertently replace your girlfriend with basketball. And you can inadvertently replace basketball as a girlfriend with a real girlfriend. The hell am I talking about? So remember when you were sore that one time? It was nice. And remember when you were swollen from your workout? That was even better. Your muscles were all swollen big. And remember when you were wasted, tired from a good day's work? Well, when you put all three of those together, it feels like a cheap hug. And cheap hugs can be good too. I say cheap because it's not from a human. It's not a real hug, but it feels like a hug. Being sore, swollen, and wasted, tired feels like a hug, a cheap hug. And who else do you hug in life after you're a kid? you really hug with like your significant others. If you have an interesting group of friends, then you hug your friends. Me and my boys used to hug when we were in middle school for a short time. But anyways, uh, being sore, swollen and wasted, tired feels like a cheap hug. And if you've ever had a girlfriend, you know that once you become addicted to their hugs, you end up needing it every day in order to feel your baseline normal. And often you end up going home like seeking it especially when you live with them, you know, you're like, man, I need my dose of like physical contact for the day of skin on skin contact. And I need to lay in bed like a bum and watch a few TV shows and hug and uh, all that good stuff. Um, this is for you older guys, you know, once you're in college and you get to like live with girls and spend a lot of time with your girlfriends at your own volition, uh, your own leisure time, you realize like how nice it is to just be able to lay around with a chick and uh, the good feelings that come from that. Now I'm saying hug because like hug has a real influence on your emotional well-being. It, it secretes certain emotions that just make you feel good and you become addicted to them. Now being sore, swollen and wasted, tired can have this very similar effects. And when you think about when your body's swollen to the point where you feel like you're bursting out of your skin, in some of your muscles, it has this degree of tightness that it's very likable to when someone is like squeezing you. And if you start to pay attention to it, you'll realize you're laying around in bed sore and it feels like someone's hugging you. And when you do a crazy, crazy arm day, it feels like someone is laying in bed, like holding your arms with pressure. And it's the same feeling as when you're laying in bed with your girlfriend watching a TV show and she's sitting there saying, man, oh, your arms are so nice. And she's holding them and just holding them. This is getting kind of serious, this video. But the point is that being sore, swollen and wasted, tired feels like a warm hug and hugs are addictive. They secrete emotions in your brain and body that you become dependent on. And we can use that to our advantage, and I do, and you should too. And you gotta understand this relationship and how the process of getting this emotion every single day makes you dependent on it. So what you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta understand that basketball is gonna have to fill the need of a lot of relationships in your life, like specifically girls. That's why I started this with basketball is your girlfriend, girlfriend is basketball, blah, blah, blah. They need to be interchangeable in your mind and you need to understand that if you're ending up filling a lot of those needs with an actual girlfriend, then you won't have the impetus to fill them with basketball. Like it won't burn inside of you to fill them with basketball. So we'll use hugs as an example. If you're getting enough hugs every day from your girl, then you won't feel the need to get that swole sore, wasted, tired, cheap hug. And this sucks in many ways. It's a dark, unfortunate reality to have to deal with that to pursue a lot of the positive parts of life, like having meaningful relationships, uh, like with a girl, for example, and the fun things I said, like laying in bed watching a TV show, it sucks to realize that you might have to sacrifice things like that because they just fill voids in your life that 
you need to be voids. If that seems like too much for you in order for you to live a healthy life, then don't do it. I don't care. It's more money for the rest of us. Go on and lay in bed and watch Netflix with your chicks all day. I don't care. But the best thing for you to do if you want to move forward in basketball is to make sure that those voids exist, not so that they'll always exist, but so that they can be filled with basketball. And I call that making sacrifices. See, when I was in middle school, I was exposed to this idea and I got really lucky that I clung to it because I remember breaking up with my girlfriend at the time specifically for this reason. She thought I was insane. I actually told her it was because of basketball and I knew that it was on the surface level a big dedication move to the game, but I didn't understand the details of why. And I proceeded to do it throughout my life, which was to incrementally push uh, females away uh, in order to create that void, which would have this vacuum effect and require basketball to come in and fill it. And trust me, when you have that void, getting sore, swollen, and wasted, tired feels so good. Maybe like 10 times as good. Whereas when you are getting all these hugs from an actual girlfriend, being sore, swollen, and tired feels like a cheap, unnecessary hug, and it feels like work. That might be slightly over-dramatized because there's a million ways to mentally spin and combat those feelings of it being work and all that, but I'm talking that in some regard, this has a, a big effect. Sometimes it has a huge effect. We're trying to mitigate risk here, so. Being sore, swollen, and tired, wasted, tired feels like a warm hug. Now, I can point to probably three times in my life where I really sacrificed a person in my life that was hugging me a lot in order to make a void that basketball could fill. And you need to look around your world at people that are filling that void for you and ask, are they worth my basketball life? Do I need to get rid of them for basketball? You have to ask yourself that. Basketball is just a game, and these are people. So objectively, the people are more important. But we're not here to be objective. And we're not here to care about humanity and about what's right and what's wrong in the conventional sense. We're here to become professional basketball players, plain and simple. So we don't do things like other people do. And we do things like look at our seventh grade girlfriend and go, sorry, honey, I want cash checks. Bye. Those hugs that you're giving me, I'm going to get them from the gym, sore, swollen, and wasted, tired. I'm going to get my cheap hugs in. So you really got to have respect for the fact that this is immutable. If you fill the void with a chick, you won't need to fill it with working out. Sore, swollen, tired is very cheap compared to a, a real woman who cares about you and hugs you because she can also whisper in your ear while she does it. It's just better. It's real. And you got to respect this because you're an animal at the end of the day and you're wired a certain way. Part of how you're wired is you need contact. You need touch. You need hugs. You need closeness. So if you want to have that need push you downhill towards basketball, meaning it's easy, then just don't get that need from someone else, somewhere else. But if you want it to be an uphill battle for you, then fill that void and then try to go fill it with basketball too, if you want the uphill battle. But you have to respect it and accept that it's a real situation because you can try to deny it, whatever. Try to deny it, go ahead, I don't care. It's kind of like accepting that your stomach only has so much room in it. So it's like, if I know that I'm supposed to be eating hot dogs, because I'm training for a hot dog eating competition, God knows why, 
then it behooves you to not eat a bunch of potato chips all day. It's like, I know I got to eat five hot dogs later. I'm 555 hot dogs later. I'm not going to eat potato chips and fill up my stomach. Same thing with hugs, man. Don't fill up your body with all these good, warm, fuzzy feelings of hugs from somebody and then expect it to be in dire need of a, a, a feeling of a cheap hug from a workout. It's not going to be in dire need. In fact, it's, it's going to want to like, ugh, I don't need this. Get this out of here. It's not what I want. At the end of the day, I, I have someone that fills that void. I have a thing that fills that void for me. Now, to close here, I just want to say how, la how much of a lack of respect for humanity this whole idea has. And this idea isn't relegated to just not getting hugs from a girlfriend. It's much broader than this. And you can see the dark space that it's going into. But you got to make a choice if you're going to be, you know, a little fairy tale Disney princess or if you're going to uh, grow some big boy nuts and make a stab at being a professional player. And part of that means you don't care about humanity or what's conventional. It doesn't mean you're doing anything crazy or illegal or hurting anybody. It just means, yeah, I get my hugs from a squat rack. And yeah, I had to break it with my girl to do it. You get your hugs from your lady. Congratulations. I cash checks playing basketball. It doesn't make me better than you. It's just what I chose. You guys that are watching this channel, I'm sure that's what you want. So you're in middle school, you're in high school, you're in prep school, college, and I know you guys are snuggled up next to your chick, skin to skin, so new to you. You got hairy legs, her legs are smooth the whole thing's enchanting of course hey man create a void where all that enchantment has you dazzled create a void and you'll feel the vacuum effect where your body says somebody hug me